Hey, what's up everybody? Derek here with nothing spectacular, but hopefully something interesting, entertaining, or helpful to somebody. I'm just coming to you today with a quick video about a pulley system that I created files for, for my valve index. Uh, if it's something you're interested in, the files are going to be available on Thingiverse or prusaprinters.org. Uh, I will go over the details of it here in just a second and show you a demonstration if this is something you're interested in uh, or if you see my channel and there's anything else specific you'd like me to do a video on let me know. Uh, I haven't done videos in quite a while and I'm thinking about doing them more so if that is something you're interested in be sure to like the video uh, leave a comment if there's something specific you want to see and subscribe if you want to encourage me to keep doing more videos. All right, just to get started, I'm gonna kind of go over the pulley setup and how I've got it configured. Uh, so you can see right here and here, I have the two 3D printed pulleys. Uh, the benefit to this over the traditional leashes that I see a lot is when you pull on the cable, it keeps that cable up close to the ceiling. Now in my case, I could probably do a third pulley if I wanted to keep that just a little bit closer to the ceiling, uh, but I don't find that it gets in my way at all. So I've just left it with the two. Uh, after it goes through the two pulleys, I have one of the traditional leashes acting as my counterweight. So again, you can see that cable gets pulled up, goes back down with that leash as a counterweight. And then lastly, to keep the amount of slack that I want up here, I've just got a zip tie that stops the cable and leaves just a little bit of slack between that pulley and the headset. Uh, over here, you can adjust that tension a little bit on that pulley to find the sweet spot. And on the pulleys themselves, you can see that that's a flexible cable. Puts a little bit less stress on that leash. Or I guess I should say on that tether. Uh, same thing up in that corner. You've got a flexible cable there acting just so that you're not putting quite so much tension when this gets pulled on that cable. Uh, and the wheel is so that you don't get a kink. Same thing where it's attached to that leash. I've got that wheel zip tied to the cable uh, so that you don't kink that cable at any point. Okay, now I'm just gonna give a quick demonstration of the headset and how the cable is actually able to move. So as you can see, I have a little bit of slack. Uh, I have a little bit extra so that I can play with, you know, people that are different heights and it still works for them. Uh, it doesn't really get in my way. I can move my arms and not really hook them on it. Uh, but if you need to bend down or step over here, you can see how that works. Anyway, again, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, and I will see you on the next video.